So I'm going to start off with, I'm going to try the number A clipper comb on top of a 30 blade and see how much hair comes off his body because the owner doesn't want him completely shaved. He wants some hair for the winter and he's, he's in good shape. He already had a bath and a blow dry and um, brushed out and totally combed out. Look how nice the comb goes through. See, he's a squiggly one. So not all the dogs I groom are good and just stand there. This one like wants to fight me already. Okay, you stay. You stay. All right, let's see. Just let him listen to it for a moment. He's a young dog, but he's been groomed a few times. He's just nervous still. Okay, where are you going? He's going to be turning around. So I just want to see how much hair comes off. Come on, this way. I'm going to have to be holding him and turning him. Yeah, I think this is nice. It's a nice length for the winter or any time of the year, actually. Number eight. Does it leave at least um, three quarters of an inch or 19, 19 millimeters? It's a nice uh, length. So I just hold his ears up and get underneath his neck. I'm going to do his chest while I'm there. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to lift him up for his uh, sides here. Since he's not cooperating very much, he's better this way. Oh yeah, that's a nice, looks like a nice length. All that off this side. Good on. I'm just gonna go lightly on the top of his tail there. All right. So he really doesn't like his, especially the front legs being touched or the, you know the clippers on them so I'm just gonna use my scissors I've already done his nails and I've done the pads it's okay when I touch this leg here he kind of spins around hopefully he'll just sit here look how long the hair is on the feet you look like you're wearing slippers so I just started the feet and I'm just going to make them like round Can't talk too silly to him, otherwise he'll just jump on me and kiss me. Right? Wow, there's one foot. You can check that later on. Now it's best to clip the nails before you trim the feet, so you can give the feet a nice trim, otherwise the nails are long, you're going to be leaving the foot longer, right? So trim the nails first so we can give the foot a nice uh, trimming. I like to do the feet first and then do the legs. And what I like to do when I just trim the feet since I have them this way, I'll check the back end. The owner has clipped this so it's pretty short. She maintains this coat pretty well. So I just tidy up this back end. Now I'll move on to the leg work. I comb everything outwards. It's okay. And trim from the bottom and up. So I just comb everything to the side. 
and work my way straight up. Comb it out this way. And what I'll do is I'll do all the legs and then I'll come back and check them all. So again, just combing them out to the side. back of the leg. No, oh, you're so cute. Mm -hmm. You are. I get cute little baby. In the back legs, I find that the legs didn't have as much hair as the body. I'm not sure if the owner's been trimming them or just grows that way. So the clipper probably wouldn't have gotten much hair off of them. The hair lays really, really flat. So that's why I kind of comb it out and up. Just comb upwards. My hand is there, so it's I know where the end of the shears are. So I don't clip his skin or cut his skin. I'll cut my hand instead, which is fine. I'd rather cut myself than cut the dog, right? And then what I do is comb it up this way and get all the hairs that I've missed. I use my scissors sometimes just to lift up the hair. It's like I use my scissors as a comb when I go like this. Nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. I'm just using the same blade, number A, or comb attachment. Going all around the neck. And coming under the neck. I should come right from the, uh, under the beard, right down. Come on. So then I'm gonna fix up the chest. Lots of hair under your armpits. You even got a knot there, I can see it. Always check the armpits. Just gotta hold the arm like this and kind of like use your fingers and twist the skin like outwards so that you can see the armpit hair because it'll just stick out. Um, if you don't clip it, it'll stick out and then it'll get all knotted as well. See, I found some more hair. Okay, you gotta turn around. I'm just gonna turn them around so I can do this armpit. Yep, and see, there's hair sticking out right there. Okay, you know, you have to uh, bend in his arm. He's doing the bending. Sometimes their structure, you know, their leg structure, the bone structure isn't like proper. They're just not aligned properly, so as soon as you touch the leg, they, they flip around. It might hurt them in that position. So I kind of let them go into that position and try to clip how they turn their leg. Sometimes what I do is, come here, sweetie. When they don't like that one leg, say this leg here, um, I will lift this leg and work on it this way. So that way I'm not even like holding the leg. You see how he stands? But sometimes I need to hold it doing certain things, but if I can't, I'll do this. See, even when I combed him, he flinched. So this way, he has to stand on that leg, which he's fine to do. And I don't have to touch his leg. There we go. There's a tip. Now I'm going to trim his tail. What I do is I just kind of, it was already combed, bring everything down and I just trim the ends just straight across. Then, 
hopefully he'll stay in the picture. There's a knot there. Got it out. Then I kind of part it, comb it down like this, and cut that long piece off. And up here as well. Just so when he goes to the washroom, you know, nothing gets stuck there. No, no, you stay. I bring everything over to this side and then I check it again. Then I bring everything over to this side. Bring as much as I can over to this side. And then check again and kind of just do it like in a fan. I call this a fan tail because if you look, turn around, honey. It's like a fan. Right here. Or like a half moon. Uh, did I miss anything? I don't want to stick my head in front of the camera, but I always get everything afterwards. So, um, there. Nice tail. So I'm just using my thinners just to get out some of this hair so that you can see better. Oh, you already can see better. Just on the top of his nose here. I don't have to show too much skin. So the owner wants this face shorter and the chin shorter. I'm just combing all this up. The hair that's in front of the nose, you can see how it sticks up, out. I'm gonna cut that off. Come on. If he lets me, relax. Okay, and while I'm holding his mouth, I can feel if he's going to lick his lips. You have to be very careful not to cut their tongue. And this chin is going to be much shorter. What I'm doing is just cutting across right now. Let me see. Now he's got ears that move all over the place, so his ears are going to be difficult to trim. So I just comb everything forward and uh, trim across. Get to him. Gotta get some eyes. Wow, you're starting to see now. Okay. So I'm using my finer comb. This is really nice. It'll catch any of the little knots. His hair is so fine. Okay, okay, you be good. Now this little comb won't work. There we go. Let me take that off. It's covering your nose, your, your nostril. That's right there too. Oh, there it's being good. Yay, it's being good. Okay, there. It's looking better already, right? Now I have to trim. This is a little bit difficult to do because he has, has all this ear hair and he's moving back and forth. So I have to see what is what. What's his ear hair and what's his cheek hair. So he's got all of this. Actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my clipper. Let's see if it's anything that comes off. Not much. I'll try it on this side. There we go. Some of it's come off. Alright, so now I'm going to look at his ears. The owner wants them trimmed a little bit. The problem is his ears move up and down, up and down, up and down. So if I trim them and they go up, they'll be uneven. If I trim them down, it's really hard to uh, do these type of ears without them looking weird when they move around. So I'll do my best. So she wants them trimmed just a little bit at the bottoms. But she said if they're trimmed too short, the ears will stand up and she likes them to stay down. So let's have a look and see. Your ear leather is way up here. Always find the end of the ear, the tip of the ear, is you don't want to be cutting that off. Some dogs have longer ear leathers than others, and this is a mixed breed. Let me see, sweetie. So I'm gonna cut it like on an angle. I'll go from this way. She wants them on an angle. Let me see.
this way. There, I can see your ear better. I like that. No, stay, <laughs> stay, stay. Yeah. And sometimes the haircut is crooked, and the reason why is the dog doesn't stand still or cooperate. Turn all those whiskers. The owner wants to see his eyes. So they're all covered in hair. I think I'll use my thinning shears. Probably be the best. Kind of blends into his ears, which look nice. I don't want to cut too much because if I cut too much, the ears might stand up. What a good doggy! We're almost done. I just got to use my thinnish ears to thin this up and make it more round. You stay, you stay. It's too much hair there. Stay. Make it more clean and up there. We're getting there. See, this hair is like sticking out now because his ears move. some of this hair off the back of the ears here because it's more or less like on the uh, back of the neck and that's up back there too so it's best to go shorter back here probably see the uneven hairs through there through the camera Sometimes it can take a while to get the face how you like it because he wasn't groomed by me last time so whoever did it last time grooms differently than me usually when they come back for their second groom I can just follow what I've done on your eyeballs. There we go. Get all that off. It just lasts a little bit longer. Okay, look at me. Get off those little hairs that stick right out. So when he licks his lips, they will you know, go around his teeth, which isn't good. It's best to get those off. I don't know where this hair keeps coming from, but <laughs> hair keeps popping up. So there you have it. I'll show you his body. So he had a number A uh, comb attachment on the body. I scissored the legs and the feet and did a um, fantail and just tidied up his ears. No, no, you stay. So when he lifts his ears up, I don't think they look too bad. Look up. Hopefully not. And rounded up his face and trimmed around the eyes. So this is the cutie patootie. Cutie patootie of the day, right? You want to stand that way? Okay, so you can look at me. 
anyways there you go hope you like my videos make sure to subscribe for more videos and <laughs> click on the video on the screen to see more videos like this one thanks for watching